So let's just start today's project off by acknowledging that we are making these parts in the wrong machine. This is something that should be made in a lathe, but I don't really like my lathe. So I'm making them here in the mill. What I've got is a uh, small Swiss screw machine, and it takes some funky, hard to find collets. And instead of trying to track down those collets, I figured I'd just make an adapter for something less hard to find, which is a 1C collet. Still difficult, but not nearly as hard as the ones that go with the machine. So what you're looking at here, this is the main adapter. We've bored a hole down the middle, put a taper on it to match the taper that comes on those collets. We want just a snug fit, so there's not a lot of play in there. And that looks pretty good. Can't push it all the way through until we cut it off of that parent stock. But it feels like that's going to do. Now here, this is just a test cut. I want to make sure I got my diameter and the thickness of that nose right. It'll make a little more sense once you see it come together. But I want it so this whole sleeve uh, is unable to slide all the way through the holder that it goes into. So that's why there's a step at the top, which will act as a stop. So I've cut it off of the stock and you can see the collet slides right in there. Nice fit too. So here's the nose cone to the machine. And it's a bit of a snug fit, which is fine. Hammering didn't work, so I pry that open just a little bit and it fit right in there. But now we have to make something for the back, a nut, to lock it in. So really we just cut this diameter here down to size so it'll fit. And then a square so we can turn it with a wrench. And then the inside has to be threaded to match the uh, thread pitch on that collet. That'll do. So I've cut that off of the piece of longer stock and we're just going to clean up the back. So here's all the pieces. This collet can be changed for different size material by simply unscrewing this piece on the back here. But you should never have to remove the uh, brass adapter from that nose cone. And the more you tighten this nut on the back... Oh, I had to put a, uh, a little pin in there to keep the collet from spinning. But the tighter you go on that nut on the back, the more the collet uh, compresses down on the, on the stock. So... Here it is in the machine. We're looking at the back side, obviously. Now, odd thing about this is that the collet itself doesn't spin. The material spins inside of the collet. And I don't know if that's correct for these Swiss machines or not, but that's the way it's set up, and it seems to be working. So let's give it a quick try. Now normally this would be flooded with a ton of uh, cooling oil, which would help, uh, help to keep the parts cool and the collet cool and keep everything lubricated. But this is just the first step 
to getting this thing usable. And as you can see, it uh, seems to work okay. Wanted to see if it got that part hot though. And it's not. No heat that I can tell to the touch. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.